how much press you're having to do for this movie, but this much energy the, everywhere you go must kind of elevate you, right? I, yes, that I must... love I love doing the fan stuff. I uh -huh. mean, it's the it's the best. You do the interviews, you do the TV, you know, where there's no one but the interviewer. But then you get to meet the fans, do the signings. <laughs> Did anyone see the movie last night? No. No. Uh -huh. Not yet. Oh, they didn't go to the premiere yet. That's hard to get into. It is. I, I almost couldn't even get into the after party. Yeah. <laughs> is that like, true? I'm in the movie. I know my hair's blonde right now, but... Really? Did someone not almost let yeah, you in? Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Where was it? It's too late now for us to go, so where was it? I have no idea. I get in the car, they stop, oh, I Oh, they out. just... Okay. <laughs> so there's a lot of party and there's a lot of celebration, because everybody is really anticipating this. Yes, yeah. yes. And are you getting used to this attention? Because you must get... Everywhere you go, people are... Even though you said they didn't let you into the party, <laughs> people must recognize you. Uh, it's very surreal. I mean, we live in this Twilight Zone bubble in mm -hmm. a way, so it really hasn't set in. Uh -huh. um, but it's funny. The most, I mean, I try and get away. I, I don't change my life or anything like mm -hmm. that. But uh, I try and go away and have, you know, treat myself. Mm -hmm. um, and I went to Burke Williams, where I thought, you know, you have the male spa. Mm -hmm. No, you know, there's, there's guy fans, but there's not, you know, I, I didn't think there'd be any there. So I'm in the spa just by myself, relaxing after a hard workout. And uh, this guy walks by, he's like, hey. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Wait, in the spa, like you're naked in the spa? I'm naked, very much. Uh, okay. Bubbles blowing. Uh -huh. and, and yeah, the, and the guy's like, you're Kellen Lutz. I'm like, yeah, he's like, big fan. Big fan. You do, you do great work in Twilight. Can't wait to see the new movie. And I'm like, ah, th thanks, buddy. And yeah. he just continued to talk for 10 minutes and uh, pretty much said it was my time to do the massage. He's like, all right, I'll let you go. Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> well, but at least you're underwater. It's not like you're. They aren't that deep of spots. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you're from where originally? North Dakota, Dickinson. Yeah. Is it, is it not? <laughs> They don't know. They're like, yeah, That's whatever. That's about how many people are in the town. Whatever right he said. It's great. Now, isn't Josh Demel from North Dakota as well? I think he, I think he is. Yeah. They, they uh, breed nice boys up there. I think that's a... Uh, there's some good-looking guys. And now, you have... You're on the cover Aww. of uh, Doggy Aficionado, this magazine, which... Uh, very... With your doggy. Look at that dog's face. Tell, tell people, what's your dog's name? Cola with a K. Cola with a K. Yes. Um, important in case you're writing to the yes. dog. And I, get, I get so much fan mail uh, from my dog. Really? Okay, yeah. so make sure you spell it with a K so the dog doesn't get offended. Um, and tell people, I love this story, tell people how you got Cola. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, I moved to L.A., met a lot of weird people, didn't have too many friends, and uh, broke up with a girlfriend, so I'm pretty low uh, in my life. And I wanted a friend, so I wanted to adopt a dog. I grew up with pets growing up and uh, went to animal shelters. I just, I really believe in adopting a pet. And I you know, went to 12 different ones, went to South Central LA. And Cola was in the back corner, just really timid. And, you know, I asked, can I see this dog? And the guy's like, dude, she's a puller. She sheds, you don't want her. And I'm like, uh, I kind of like a dog that will pull me because then I'll run faster because I hate running. And uh, so I was like, no, she, you know, I called her over, and she leaned on the fence, and she really just, I don't know, just, just sold herself. So I got her out, and she came and buried her head right between my legs. And I was like, ah, yes. <laughs> Perfect, right there. That, that's a best friend. That's a best friend. Oh, I didn't mean like that. Yeah, yeah, bucks? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, they do know. I, I got a dog like that where it literally was in the back and it had just given up because nobody wanted it. And it's a good puller because it's pulling you on the skateboard. That's oh, a good, wow. That's a good friend you have there.